This will be a demo of setting up ExpertSleeper's Silent Wave voice controller in Logic Pro. This is the hardware setup I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial. We've got uh, a modular synth connected to a Motu Ultralight. Um, so there are various connections coming out of the Ultralight. Uh, at the bottom, the main output pair is just going into my patch bay that's routed straight back into the uh, monitor speakers so we can hear stuff. Um, the two outputs at the top, uh, outputs one and two. Output one is routed to the oscillator pitch CV there. And output two is routed to the gate input of the uh, envelope generator. And the input to the ultralight is analog input three, and that is coming from the output of the VCA. So it's a perfectly simple um, VCO envelope generator VCA patch uh, connected to the ultralight for this demo. So the first thing we'll set up is an audio track uh, so that we can simply hear the synth. Um, here's an audio track. We're going to set the input to input three, which is where the synth is coming in. Set the input monitor button and I'll just trigger the synth manually and then we'll hear that we've got audio coming in on that track. It is, and we'll rename this monitor. Okay, uh, next thing, we're gonna need a virtual instrument track uh, to host Silent Way itself. So we'll create that. There it is. And then on this track, we will insert AU Instruments, Expert Sleepers, Silent Way Voice Controller, and we're gonna use the multi-output three times stereo configuration. So there's the plugin. Just scroll that over there for now. Um, and now I'll bring it back. The other thing we need to configure on the plugin window is the sidechain input. This is so that the voice controller plugin can listen to the synth itself, uh, which it uses during the calibration process. So in the sidechain, we're going to set that to input three, which again is where the synth is coming from. That's in the monitor track. So we'll just rename this one silent way. Okay, move that off to one side for now. Um, and then if we bring up our mixer, we need to add two aux tracks to the silent way instrument channel, which we do by clicking this button here twice. And automatically the input for these aux tracks has been set to channels three and four and channels five and six of the voice controller. And we'll also configure the outputs of the silent way channels to three, four, which is what on the motor is called outputs one and two, which is what we've got connected to the synth. And on these aux tracks, we'll set these to outputs five, six, and outputs seven and eight, which aren't connected, but uh, they need to be routed somewhere. And that is it basically configured. If I play some MIDI notes, you'll see that um, all the different aux uh, outputs are sending CVs. And because we're sending a gate CV, the synth is giving us input. And you can see the envelopes on the voice controller plugin working. So the last thing we need to do uh, is to hit the calibrate button, uh, which is this one here. So I'll do that now. There we go. The calibration worked. We've got a nice line in the graph. And if I press uh, play a scale now on the MIDI, we've got a nice calibrated synth. So uh, in the future, to save having to go through this process again, uh, what you can do is save the calibration now as a text file. Uh, press save here. Save it to the desktop. We call it calibration.txt by default. And then next time you want to use uh, a voice controller plugin, you can just add a new software instrument track. Uh, let's just set this here this time. Save doing it later. And if we insert our voice controller plugin, as we did before, rather than running the calibration, we can just load the calibration file. 
calibration.txt, open, and there you go. Ready to go calibrated voice controller. And that's it.